Hi guys, welcome back to Modifix. My name is Dan and today we are modding. Today we're going to fit in place of the cigarette lighter a twin port USB socket and it is a pretty good one. It's a quick charge 3. I'll send you some links if you want to buy it. I just bought it off Amazon I think or eBay or something I can't remember but anyway my car was actually missing the cigarette lighter socket so I decided I'd put something better there so let me show you what I did if you want to see the part where you remove your consoles and all that stuff then watch the stereo video because I did this as part of that install but I thought I'd make a separate video because not everybody wants to fit one of those and I just wanted to keep the stereo video a little bit more relevant if you do want to see how you remove all that stuff then watch the stereo removal video otherwise this one is exclusively for the USB port install enjoy all right once you've undone everything undo these two cables there's just a little little switchy thing that you press underneath and pull those out and then the center console should be free so you want to wheel that out of the car and then we can get fitting the new gadget which is going to be lots and lots of fun <laughs> we're going to fit this baby here it's a voltmeter and inside it has two quick charging three amp usb drives and i think it's pretty cool because it's red in type r fashion and i want to fit that there Hopefully it will fit with no problems. I've got to just make this hole a little bit bigger first. All right, for this task, I'm going to use a drill with a Dremel bit on it, sanding sort of style. It's only soft plastic, so we should be able to bore that out quite nice. All right, guys, and that is in the hole. Lovely. It doesn't go straight in the hole, and I have um, cocked that up a little bit, but I might find something to sort of blank that off anyway. I might just carbon cover the whole lot. I don't know. We'll see in the future. But that's in there solid now. What I did was I kept filing the hole out. I used the drill with that bit on there. And then I did actually use a, a file and went around it manually. And I've got it so it's just snug in there now. It won't come out easy, put it that way. And I sort of wound it in the hole. That's holding in there nice now. Now I've just got to wire it up. So it's just a plus and a minus, which I'm going to take off the existing cigarette lighter socket. All right, these are the wires that you get with it. And it's fused as well, which is handy. I'm going to cut these ring terminals off, put some spades on there, male spades, and then plug those into the original lighter plug. I don't like generally cutting stuff on the car. So I'm going to plug them into here. Just find out which one's the plus and which one's the earth. I'm presuming the, the beige colour one's going to be the live, but I don't want to presume anything. I will test them and I'll tell you in a minute. Alright guys, as I suspected, the cream, sorry about the light, trying to hold three things with one hand. So the creamy white wire, there is the live and the black is the earth. I have already terminated these wires with the, those spades on the end so the red will go to white black will go to black and then those two ends will go to the other end and i'll insulate those once they're in all right guys that's all connected up now and in the hole so you flip this you've got two ports and then when you put this on the bolts are a bit low at the moment but uh, you can check the voltage on the car which is great so if i put this in neutral now and then start the car. Okay, battery's dead. So yeah guys, I've only got nine volts in the battery. It's dead, so I'm gonna have to charge the car now. <laughs> All right guys, I have charged the vehicle and we are back up to 12 volts, 12.3 it was when I uh, turned it on. So I'm just gonna switch the car on now and it should go up to about 14. That's interesting, it switched itself off. Okay, so I'll put it back on again. And we've got 14.4 volts, which is fantastic. So that's in, and it's got a nice quick charge 3.0 amp USB on both sides. That's what I wanted, something, I wanted something quite powerful. Got that in there, and it's in Type R red, so I think that looks beautiful. So now, I'm gonna put that section all back in. It's just the two clips on that side. Well, yeah, two clips on that side. One was actually missing, I didn't show you that. 
um, and I just realized more recently that there's one up the top so anyway put those two in put the two bolts in into the center console here and then the same on the other side and gear shifter back in actually I've got to uh, do another little mod I don't know if I should do that now or not but yeah anyway put it all back together all right guys and that is that little modification all done that looks lovely I think these USB ports interestingly if you switch that off not only does the voltmeter go off but the ports switch off as well which is quite good because if there's like a some sort of voltage drain or something you can actually isolate this and, and know that it's not causing the drain so very good um, not that he'd be able to I just thought about that you wouldn't be able to check the volts whilst you're checking for your voltage drain right anyway uh, so that's all done and I think it looks lovely right so that little USB port I think it was a worthy addition to the car beats having that cigarette lighter in there not that I had a socket in there anyway I don't know what the previous owner did and why he removed it but I saw it as an opportunity to upgrade and that's what I did so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you took something away from it maybe you'll fit one to your car but yeah give us a thumbs up give us a like subscribe to the channel for more juicy videos I shall see you in the next one bye for now